Hello and welcome to a new video in which we're going to talk about something quite different but I hope very interesting and very cool. Uh, we're going to talk about the mild restoration that we did to this Porsche 914 6. Um, now this is a car that Porsche made back in 1970, this particular car I mean. And uh, the 914.6 is like Porsche's answer to everyone saying like, hey, this 914.4 is basically a Volkswagen, why don't you give us a Porsche? So they put in a 911T engine in this car or in the, uh, the 914 and then it was kind of like a real Porsche. Porsche. And this car to me is very special, it's very cool. I think the model is just great because it resembles the famous 917. Um, it's mid-engined, it's fairly small, it's light, it's great handling and that to me is just a 917 that Porsche builds for the general public to own and drive on the street. Um, now that's the reason why I really love this car and there's actually also a photo, a really cool photo of a 914, an orange one, standing right next to a Golf Porsche 917 right next to the Eau Rouge corner at Spa Francorchamps. So that's it's, it's just a very cool photo, you should uh, look that up. But anyway, so we acquired this car three years ago and since then we've been kind of doing a mild restoration to it. We've been, we took out the engine, cleaned the engine bay, we cleaned the wheel arches, we put a new suspension, new brake, new, uh, new brakes, new brake lines, um, everything like that, just the trivial stuff, also the big stuff. Um, and then after a few years it was time to put in the engine again. Now this is a 2 liter flat 6 engine that came out of a, um, or that was originally produced for the 911T, but then Porsche decided to also put it in the 914-6 model. Um, so it's basically the exact same engine, it's uh, naturally aspirated with carburetors, a uh, very cool little engine, it produces around 110 horsepower which is just enough for this light little car. And in this shot you can clearly see how the transmission is mounted um, in like to the rear of the engine, which makes for the famously good weight distribution that this car is known for. Um, so it's very cool to see it like this from the side, and um, yeah, it's definitely a, a cool perspective. But the engine going in meant that we could start looking forward to something very, very cool, which was the first start. And now this car had, well, it had been sitting for three years when we acquired it, but before that it had been sitting for a decade, maybe even two decades, so it hadn't moved for a very, very long time and the engine hadn't been running for a very long time as well, so that's something that I always found very cool to watch as a kid. Uh, just the, the uh, first start videos uh, on YouTube, cars that had been sitting for years and then suddenly someone came up to, to the cars and fired them up. There's this very, very cool video series of actually Team Gunner um, doing this kind of thing on a Porsche 917. You should look that up as well because it's such a cool video series and I watched it countless times when I was younger. Um, but anyway, the engine went back into this car and it was time for that first start, which I filmed, so let's take a look at that right now.
So yeah, pretty cool, huh? Uh, I, I love the rough sound that this car makes, but there, there was one little problem <laughs> with the engine, and you might have noticed it, you might have not noticed it, um, but there was a lot of smoke coming out of the exhaust system. That was just pure burnt oil. Now, it's not unusual for these older cars, and especially these engines that haven't run in, in years to produce a bit of smoke, but this was just, this was ridiculous. Um, like, it also, it smelled really, really bad. It made my eyes tear up, so, yeah, it was pretty bad, and it was pretty clear that something was wrong with this engine. Um, after looking into, into it, it um, appeared to be the oil pump that wasn't pumping the oil um, around the engine, and this engine takes, or this car takes, 14 liters of oil, which to my standard is a lot. <laughs> and while well, the oil wasn't being pumped around in the engine, so it basically all ended up going into the cylinders, being burned with the combustion of the fuel and air, and then it was just sent out of the exhaust, hence the, the very thick layer of smoke here in the garage at that moment in time. Um, so yeah, there was nothing else for us to do other than taking the engine out again and bring it to a garage where they would uh, be rebuilding it. And uh, we brought it over there and after a few weeks um, they were ready for um, to make a diagnose of the engine. And they called us and said like, hey, you should come and take a look at this because there's more that you might want to replace than just the, the oil pump. And we went to take a look and apparently like the cylinders, I've got one right here, this is one of the original cylinders, um, since this car had been sitting for such a long time, condensation had been making little rust holes inside of the cylinders uh, right here. And I'll show you a close-up of that in a second. Um, but also the, the outside is just very, very rusty. And they basically said, like, okay, um, if you want to, you can replace these cylinders with original Mala cylinders that Porsche used back in the day as well. Um, and then your car is going to run much smoother and it's going to be a, a lot better because this obviously doesn't make for a perfect combustion and they could drill out the cylinders that the holes are gone but again that also doesn't make for a perfect combustion and the car will at that point by design basically uh, burn a little bit of oil um, so we replaced the cylinders these are the old ones we've got six of those of course um, so we replaced the cylinders and when we got back to pick up the engine it was just a gorgeous sight to see those new fresh aluminum cylinders sitting on the car. These are made from steel uh, by the way so they're very very heavy uh, but the aluminum ones are going to be very uh, much lighter and they're also going to give a much better combustion since they're very they're, they're basically uh, new. Um, and it was really exciting to pick up the engine. Uh, we've, we hadn't been seeing it for like a month and it led us to look forward to another one of those first start moments. But also the garage where we picked it up is just a really cool place. There's always like a lot of <laughs> different Porsches standing there, the guys working on. Uh, and this time was no different. There were a few old 911s, a few newer 911s. Um, and then also a Porsche 356. And it's always just good fun talking to the guy and um, hang around in the, in the uh, hanging around in uh, the garage, um, but we put the engine in our car. We drove it back home, and uh, that basically leaves us where we are right now, with the engine sitting right over there, and us having to put it back into the car and um, do that first start once again to see how the engine is running uh, at this point. So. Um, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you like this kind of update on this uh, restoration project that we've kind of been going on here. Um, and yeah, let me know if you liked it. I am planning on making more of these videos once we do more things to the car. Um, I'll film when we put the engine back into the car. I'll film that, that second first start basically. And after that we'll probably be making some test drives, doing little tests with the car to make sure the engine's running um, well and in the end We'll probably put this car on a dyno to really get the carburetors like set up perfectly by someone who knows them very well. Um, so let me know if you want to see that in the future because I'll definitely be making videos of them, um, of all of that. And uh, I'll be uploading those videos to YouTube for you to enjoy. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting and cool to see. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.